So what's the American Bully's temperament like? Here's the pros and cons. Pros, companion dog. The American Bully was bred to be a companion dog. Purposefully, breeders try to breed out any type of aggressiveness and any type of prey drive out of them in order to make them as compatible to a family as possible. Another pro is that the American Bully, whether it's the standard American Bully or the American Bully Excel, it is extremely affectionate. But make no mistake about it, if they have to defend their owner or their property, they will. The other pro you get with American Bullies is that they're not a one-person dog. They truly form a bond with the entire family. This next pro about the American Bully, I need you to pay attention because it has bits and pieces that you gotta make sure you're aware of. Now this breed overall is bite inhibited and it is unlikely to snap on somebody. They're not volatile dogs. In fact, they're actually calm, assertive dogs. With that being said, you must make sure that the dog is not coming from a hot bloodline. You don't know what a hot bloodline is, you could always consult me directly. All you gotta do is download QBN app, click on contact us, let me know you want to consult, and I'll give you instructions there as to what we can do. I can identify the pup or the pedigree and let you know whether I'm seeing hot blood in that pup or not. The next pro is that they're naturally protective. Is that they're naturally protective but in a calm way. The next pro is that an American Bully can make a great tolerable watchdog for a person, but not necessarily for property. You do have to make sure you know which puppy you're picking if you're trying to get this particular function out of them. The next pro is that when an American Bully finds it necessary to be fearless, it is. It is also very intelligent. One of the main cons with the American Bully is that it's a very powerful dog. It's usually double the weight of a dog of its same size. If not trained or prepared for a scenario, the slightest aggression could become a very very serious problem. High prey drive could be a serious problem, especially around other pets and children, if not raised together or socialized. Another pro is that the American Bully aims to please. They actually find pleasure in pleasing you. They also feel reassured. Con to this is that owners must know how to maintain position of dominance at all times. This particular breed does not challenge you in an aggressive manner, but they will see what they can't get away with on occasion. This is why it's so important in this breed to assert yourself as the dominant leader. Now this next pro makes it easy for you to own an American Bully because grooming wise, they pretty much don't need too much grooming. Brushing their coats on occasion, and if you don't have them walking on the sidewalk, you may need to trim nails. That's about it. So what's the con? Seasonal allergies. This is one of the reasons why we like to bathe our dogs in vinegar baths during the summertime. If you want more information on that, make sure you stay to the end of the video. I'll have a link up for you to click on it and check it out. The other pro for the American Bully is that it responds well to reward-based training and leadership. What's the con to this? You must have a window of time, minimum one hour, for your dog to exercise. I don't mean just take them out on a walk. They need more than that. So what's the pro to having a well-exercised American Bully? Well, the result is you're going to have a calm dog indoors. You're going to have a dog that was able to expend all of its extra energy, and now he just wants to pretty much chill out at home. Which leads me to another pro. If you're able to crate train your American Bully inside of your home, you're going to find they're going to literally want to be in there without you even having to say anything. They feel safety in there, and they feel like that's a little piece of space that belongs strictly to them. So that's definitely a pro. So what's the con to this? Well, if you live in a confined space and your dog has not been crate trained, it could be walking around everywhere. American bullies are known to wag their tail. If you ain't looking, it could actually hit you inadvertently or even knock over an ornament or two. So what are the differences between male and female American bullies? I can tell you that male American bullies typically do not mature mentally until they're between 30 to 36 months. There's always an exception, but usually that's where they fall into. Also, they will not stop growing until they're anywhere between 30 to 36 months. Now, sexual maturity for the male American bully is 12 months. Now, the female American bully is a little bit different. They usually tend to mature anywhere between 20 to 24 months. That's mentally. Now, physically, they usually mature between 24 and 30 months. Now, even though they're sexually ready to reproduce at a younger age, it is never recommended to breed your female American bully before her third heat, usually anywhere between 18 to 22 months. The male American bully 
at home is usually friendlier with strangers. Once reaching maturity, the attention demands of the American bully are equal between males and females. The male American bully has a high desire to please its owner. Now the female American bully is not that she doesn't want to please the owner, but of the two, she's the one that has the lesser desire in doing so. Now this one has a particular caveat to the whole thing. Now I did say earlier in this particular breed, they love to bond with the whole family. The males of the American bully breed love to bond with the whole family and so do the females. But the females also have a favorite human. So they bond to the whole family but there's also that one specific favorite human that they just go that extra mile for. So who will protect the family better, the male or the female? Now I've heard myths that males are definitely better protectors or that females are better protectors. Fam, honestly, that's a MYTH straight up myth. I will say that they both protect the home equally as well. We've ran tests, we've had people come and knock on the doors or walk in our backyards or even make noises and whatnot and the reactions have been pretty much equal across the board between the males and females so how does the male american bully versus the female american bully react to a new dog coming onto his property i can tell you already a male is going to be okay if it's a female he's going to be all right with it at first he might show up and maybe even want to check a little bit but that's about it now if it's a male that male's about to get checked real quick. He's definitely going to go up there and challenge him. You must be assertive. It doesn't necessarily have to be aggressive, but it could turn aggressive if the male that's coming onto the property does not follow suit or does not submit himself. Now, how do females react? I'm going to tell you right now. They're about to challenge anything that comes onto their territory, male or female. They really don't care. They're trying to assert themselves as to where you're going to be in the pecking order. And the only way they're going to do that is by challenging you. So if the new dog is one of those dominant dogs, you might find yourself in a scenario where a fight can break out. Outside of the home, the male American bully is more independent. He actually becomes more of an explorer. He becomes very tolerant of males. However, he's not going to allow himself to be submitted. So there is a line you can't cross. He's always okay with females. We'll claim the space that his owner is in as his territory. In fact, if he doesn't feel comfortable to go out and explore or whatnot, he may just sit next to his owner. And that particular space is a space that cannot be threatened or disrespected. So how do females normally act when they go out and about? My females become a 